Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with another video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to open up a, a cell phone and how you can change the charge port on a cellular uh, cell phone. This particular one is an Alcatec brand and pretty much this applies to any of the low grade brands or Alcatec or any other brand that can easily be accessed. So I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to replace the charge port. Because as soon as I plug in the charge port in here, it's not charging, so I have to move it around. So it's not like a, it feels like it's not doing a connection, so I, you have to keep it in one position. The tools that you're going to be needing is a soldering iron. So I'll leave the link in the description for this electric solder iron. It's really cheap and really handy to have around the house. It's a TS100. Is an electric, it's controllable, and you will need a tape, aluminum tape in case, a working towel to work on. Okay, you will need a solder, a flux, a pair of tweezers, a curved one or a rect uh, straight one uh, the wi the soldering wire or the soldering wig and obviously the most important one is an alcohol and it's at 95 percent alcohol it must be and you will need the most important part is the part the correct part it is a lots of the uh, type of the power jack or charging port options we need to open it up and see which one of these it belongs to your phone so let's keep this to one side right now and let's get it started first thing first you want to power it off completely and next you want to remove the back cover some of them come with one corner some come with a different place to open it up so remove the back cover if your battery is accessible remove the battery this one is a model is a 5003A model. So what we're going to do right now, it's simple. We're going to start removing all the screws at the back cover. And for the screwdriver set, um, I always use the iFixit tool set. They have one of the best tool sets out there. And we're going to be using bit number double zero. All right. Also, you will need a hot station if you want to. It's really easy, makes the life easier. So go ahead and remove all the screws at the bottom cover. All right, once you remove all the screws, what you want to do, you want to grab an opening tool or grab yourself a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick, and you want to remove the back cover. Just stick it in between the top and the bottom cover right there, and just wiggle it around, and go all around to the top. Just ply it out, go in the corners, I'm going to stop on the bottom here, and there we go. Now we can easily remove the top portion. The buttons will come out, remove the volume rocker, and in this model it's really simple. You can see the charge hole board, everything is in here. There's a, a antenna right here, so go ahead and remove this antenna right here, just by pulling it up. Now we need to remove this uh, flex cable by pulling this black cover upward, 90 degrees, and then you can pull the back out the flex cable. Now next, you can easily there's a little adhesive tape right underneath, so just peel it off. And the board should come out pretty easy. So there's the charge port right there. So we're going to put the phone to one side. And now what we're going to do, we need to isolate this plastic right here. And we need to isolate this microphone right here. 
to isolate so the heat doesn't damage them what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wrap it around the masking tape once so just wrap it around the reason I do this is because the adhesive on the aluminum sheet it can penetrate to the microphone so cut a piece of the foil tape adhesive foil tape and just make a strip just like that let's go go over this one so it can protect it from overheating so the heat doesn't pass through so do one bundle right there and same thing on the other side I'm exaggerating a little bit with the foil tape, but it makes a nice handle right here. Now we need to remove this power jack from here. In order to remove it, we need to sustain it on the air somewhere. So I'm going to use my clippers. This is my old clipper, so it's kind of rusty. There we go. We're going to place it like this so we can see the pins. And we're going to apply a fair amount of flux right on the pins. What the flux does, it brings the melting point for the solder down so it can work freely, nicely. Now we're going to grab the hot station and we're going to set it at 380 and the air volume up to 6 or 7 and we're going to use a medium nozzle and we're going to start heating it up trying to not cover it on the camera so you guys can see so heat it up a little bit and with the tweezers you just want to lift it up and that's how easy it comes up with the flux so what we're going to do right now we're going to grab the desoldering wick and we're going to turn on the hot the solder on so it should get to 360 degrees. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna pick up a little bit of solder on the tip of the soldering iron right now, just like that. And we're gonna run over the old, thermo, old solder right on the pins all over. All right, now we're gonna use the wig and we're gonna remove all the solder. There we go. Now the old solder is gone. Now we're gonna clean it up with an alcohol and let a working towel. So grab a little bit of working towel and an alcohol and start cleaning the work place. All right. Now that that. All right. Now that is cleaned, we need to find the right donor for this one. So I'm gonna go through the box. I'm gonna find the right power uh, charge port for this model. The pins has to match and the orientation of the pins must match too. Really good donor. This one right here, it's the same pin size and the same orientation and it should work perfectly fine. So. Grab the new one, just present it, make sure you sit it right on top, make sure it sits nicely. And the pins at the bottom should connect. If the pins don't touch, then you have to adjust it. So I'm going to remove it from here. I'm going to double check all the pins. Just push it down. Make sure there's a little curvature on the PCB. But that's not important. See, it sits there perfectly fine. Now, what we're gonna do? We're just gonna start soldering it down with a solder station. We're just gonna solder the pins one by one. All right. So I'm gonna put it under my microscope. So and we're gonna put it down, tape it down. So what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna add a flux on the pins. 
You don't need to do this with a microscope. You can do it without a microscope. I just want to show you guys what I see close up. So the microscope is not necessary. I usually do it without the microscope. So if I put my head too close, you won't be able to see it. You will see my big head. So what we're going to need is solder. Uh, clean up the tip of the solder. Make sure it's nice and clean. So bring it over, hold it down with the tweezers and then you just want to pass over the pins on every pin. All right, now we're gonna do the side, the supporting bracket. There we go. Nicely done. All right, now that is nicely placed in. We're gonna clean it up with an alcohol. So spray alcohol all over. Grab a Q-tip or a little bit of piece of working towel and just rub it in there. So we can take a look at the pins. And let's see how it showed up. The pins are nicely soldered in place. There's no separation right there. Right. I see a little bit of separation on the first pin over here on the right side. So I'm going to Add a flux, if you see a separation right there, add a flux. And do a repass on the pin that you think is not soldered nicely. There we go. Check it out, make sure it's nicely soldered. Now we're gonna simply just assemble it back together. There's no more soldering needed or anything like that. So remove the tape. Remove all the tape that you need on this side. And you can rinse it with an alcohol to remove any adhesive that it has. And use a toothbrush to just clean it up. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the phone and uh, we're gonna bring it down and first we have to align it put down the ribbon cable under the jack right there and then close the lid place the charge port everything on its place and plug in the uh, antenna right there just push down run the cable nice all the way to the back grab the top cover before you put the top cover put the button right there the volume rocker and on and off switch button right there if it fell down all right now you're gonna press it down, snap it down place, and grab the battery, plug it in there. Let's do a test and let's see if this thing is gonna charge. So plug it in there, and I hear some vibration, and there we go. It's powering up and it's working. We remove, plug it in there, plug in the charger, wait five seconds, vibrates, and then it turns on. And the last thing would be to putting back down the screws that you remove from the bottom plate. And I really hope this video helped you guys out and you learned something today. And if it did, please click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. 
and I only see a few of the my viewers only subscribe you guys can just support me by subscribing it really helps out and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys I'm just gonna finish up screwing all this screws at the back cover and that'll be all thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video